Please read through the instructions in the manual or watch this video in its entirety before attempting installation. Be sure to pause the video when necessary. The appliance is heavy. Two or more people are necessary to move and install the appliance to prevent damage or injury. The following tools are required. Use a small ladder or dolly to access the top of the box and remove the staples using a flat blade screwdriver. Use a box cutter to unbox the product and follow the cut online to remove it safely. Remove all packaging materials. Remove the product from the styrofoam base by slowly walking it off. Remove any additional tape from around the product. Push the unit slowly from about halfway down the front side, using the wheels at the bottom of the appliance to move it. When lifting the unit with two people, use the handle on the back of the product. Place your foot on the bottom of the product to help keep the appliance stationary when tilting it backward. Hold the appliance with one hand and place the other inside the hand grip. When placing the product on hard flooring, make sure the surface is flat and level to avoid poor performance. Make sure there is enough space and clearance in the install location to fit the appliance. Allow at least 2 inches on both sides and between the back of the appliance and the wall. Allow at least 18 inches in front to open the door. Allow at least 7 and 3 fourths inches in between the top of the appliance and any overhanging shelves or cabinets. Take a moment to remove and review all the components that came with your product. Warranty and Registration Forms Manual Anti-Tip Kit Two non-skid pads Two hangers Four carpet spikes, drip tray, two rear leveling feet, two hinge covers, wrench, two rear cap covers. Once the product is placed in its final location, install the cap covers on the two upper back left and right corners. To help reduce any potential vibration, noise, or performance issues, level the appliance properly. Use the wrench included with the appliance to turn the leveling feet. Clockwise raises the feet and counterclockwise lowers them. Use the level to make sure the appliance is properly level from the front and side. When the product is completely stable and all leveling feet are resting solidly on the floor, tighten the lock nuts at the top of the leveling feet. Clockwise tightens the lock nuts and counterclockwise loosens them. If the product is installed on hard flooring, the non-skid pads help prevent it from shaking or shifting when opening or closing the door. Place the adhesive side of the non-skid pads on the floor and move the appliance feet onto the non-skid pads. Make sure the appliance is still level. Installing carpet spikes. If the appliance is installed on carpeting, you will need to install the carpet spikes. Before you install the carpet spikes, you will need to install the two rear leveling feet at the rear bottom of the appliance first. Install the four carpet spikes on the ends of the leveling feet with the shorter octagonal faces toward the front. After installing the carpet spikes, make sure the appliance is still level. Open the styler door. Snap hinge covers on the hinge assembly with the bent edge on the far side from the hinge. If the product is installed on hard flooring, install the drip tray at the bottom front of the appliance. If installed on carpeting, there may not be enough space between the bottom of the appliance and the carpet to install the drip tray and open the door. Extend the leveling legs to fit the drip tray. Make sure the product is still level. 
Install the anti-tip device packed with the appliance to reduce the risk of tipping. Refer to the instructions provided with the anti-tip kit for proper anti-tip device installation. Plug the unit into a dedicated grounded electrical wall outlet. Do not use an extension cord or two outlet adapter with this appliance. You are now ready to use your LG Styler. It is possible to reverse the direction of the door swing. If the direction of the door swing needs to be changed after installation, contact the LG Customer Information Center.